the oil in your life, know that God's going to use it. Amen. But are you willing, are you willing to get your vessel right? Are you willing to say, Lord God, here I am, Father. That I, I don't want the wine skin to burst. I want everything that God has for me to be able to function in my life. Lord God, do a work in me. And yeah, in this new, in this part three series of new for you in 22, that this is the bear, this is the tougher, this separates the wheat from the tear. This separates the saints from the faithful. Are you ready for it? This is the thing that really separates if you're a saint or if you're going to be faithful. Because see, a saint don't mind a fresh start. Saint love fresh start. Yeah. You know, they love a fresh start. Saint love that. <laughs> but see, a faithful individual, they love a fresh start and they love fresh oil and they love, you know, being prepared, the vessel getting ready to receive the fresh oil. Mm. See, that's a faithful individual. Mm. You see, one thing, see, the saint just want to get. Yeah. They just want to get. Well, I'm going to get. Yeah, I'm fresh start. Yeah, yeah, got that. But see, a faithful individual will say, okay, I thank you, Lord God, I'm going to be getting a fresh start. I thank you, Lord God, that, I, you know what, that you're going to be working some things out for me with the fresh oil. But I understand I got to do something, too. Mm -hmm. See, the faithful individual said, you know what, I want to make sure that what you give me, that I'm a good steward of it. That I can last as long as you need for me to last. So I'm going to clean this temple up. I'm going to make sure that I'm talking faith, walking faith, and Lord, believe in God and everything that I do. So that way my oil will not burst. Yes, Lord. My Lord, that, that's something powerful right there, people of God. Because see, that's where God's calling for us today. He's calling for you and for me to say, you know what? That we have a new start. God loves to do fresh starts, as I said. God loves to do it. I'm here to tell you, you're looking at some fresh starts, right? Sitting right next to you. You may not really, their na name is written in the last book of life right about now. They may not have a novel written about them, but I guarantee if you hang around them, they can tell you some stories uh, that, they, that will just blow you off, blow your mind to let you know that God gave me a fresh start. I, I wasn't seeming like I was going to do anything, but look what God did. I was doing one thing, now I'm doing another. God gave me another yeah, chance. Yeah. I fell, but I got back up again. Do I have anybody in the house that can recall? But I want you to know that God gave us a fresh start. As I gave examples that God did fresh starts in the Bible, but we don't need to go just right there. You can look around the room and give God glory. You can watch, and there may be somebody who's watching and saying, you know, I'm a testimony because I got a fresh start. You know, your marriage may have been on the rocks, but they let you back in. Come on now, that's a fresh start. Yeah, Things yeah. may not have been going well, but all of a sudden, you know what, a child may have been wayward, and all of a sudden they came back home. That's a fresh start. Yeah, you yeah. know, a child may have laid yeah. you up and they called you back. Yeah, yeah. That's a fresh start. You may have started something new or ventured out into your own business. That's a fresh start. Yeah, Whenever yeah. you thought that yeah. you weren't going to do yeah. anything, that your degree wasn't nothing, and then all of a sudden, you got a fresh start. Yeah. I want you to know that's powerful right there. That's something to be encouraged about. Now, when you have those fresh thoughts, understand that God's giving you those fresh thoughts and he gives you fresh oil with that. He gives you a fresh oil, my God, to sustain you, to keep you. Yes. Tell in order for you to continue to manifest. That's why, oh woman, I got, I got that word. That's why your top sales over there. In the name of you, because the Lord God's giving you fresh oil. In the name of you. those of you who are working in a field and you are with them. He said, it's not, the, not by might, not by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord God, that you are operating in the things that you are operating in. Because you know on your own you could not do it. Amen. It's got to be the mantle. It's got to be the oil. It's got to be the deposit that God is putting on. I want you to know that some of us are shining right about now. It's in the name of Jesus. Hey! Oh my God. Let me tell you why. 
When the shepherd anoints the, the sheep with oil, it's to keep the parasites from out of their ears. Wow. Somebody needs to get that in the spirit right now. Wow. So when you get anointing, it keeps the parasites from out of your ears. Yes, Lord. It keeps the toxin that says you ain't going to do nothing. No, no, no. I let you say, you know what? I'm the, I'm the under shepherd and I've been anointed and I got this fresh oil. Whenever the oil dripped down on the sheep's head, it took out any parasites that would try to get into their ear. That means they try to kill them and eat away that their mind. And if you can see that as people of God that are under shepherd in this house, when God says, I'm pouring out fresh oil and you're anointed from the crown of your head. Do you realize the oil flows down so that way you don't receive gossip. You don't receive lies. You don't receive negativity. Jesus. My God. My God. My God. Those things have got to die. That's why those negative words won't manifest in your life. Come Thank on. Lord, Thank you, Lord. That means those things that the enemy was speaking, it's not going to work. Hallelujah. Why? Because I got this fresh oil. Tell your neighbor, fresh oil. Fresh oil. Jesus. You must understand that as the oil is being poured tonight, that as the Lord God is saying, when the altar is going to be open and the oils are going to be dripping down, the Lord God says, anybody that's trying to speak negative over what God is doing in your life, that's going to be cut off. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Yeah. You want it, it's going to be cut off. It's going to be, they said, the Bible, they said the shepherds call them parasites. Mm. That's things that stick and try to kill. Any parasite, it eats away. So whatever's trying to kill your dream is going to be destroyed. Mm. Amen. Amen.
that whenever your natural body is saying, I don't know if I can do it, all of a sudden you can't help yourself. Your body just keep on moving. I, and your body say, I don't want you, but, but the oil is so slippery. I, I'm, still, I'm still doing what God would have for me to do, even though my mind doesn't want to, even though my physical body says, I'm yep. so tired. See, you want to get in the bed. You want to stay there. I'm closing. But I want you to know, you say, Lord God, I can't pray no more. I'm tired. But all of a sudden, 5 a.m. come, and there you are, <laughs> up and ready. You're like, what is it? He said, it's the new oil that I put in you. You can't stop praying. You cannot stop writing the things that you're doing. You're going to make it to the other side. Thank you, Jesus. Ooh, my God. Thank you. That's what the new oil is going to do for you. I hope you're excited about the new oil. I pray that you're excited, the new for you. Because God says all these things are threefold. It's going to be a package for you. Yeah, yeah, it's a threefold blessing. Come on. Thank you, Lord God. New for you. A fresh start, fresh oil, and new oil. All that combined together. And then you're going to be operating in this season. The thing, I'm so excited about this new oil. Because my body, as well as yours, at times get tired. Amen. But with this new oil, even though you may want to stop, you find yourself still doing. Yeah. Still moving in the things of God. Not being stagnant, not being complacent, but still moving. Oh, you better hear the Lord right there. Not being complacent, not just staying there and just settling for whatever happened. But this new oil that's in you, daughter, is allowing you to keep on going. Even though you could just say, well, no, I'm going to just stay right here. I think it's where this is where I need to be. And the Lord God said, I've given you some new oil to chase out some new demons. I've right. given you some new oil to conquer some new adversaries. Right. The Lord God giving you some new oil to climb over some new mountains in the name of Jesus. So you must understand that this new oil is giving you the ability to do what you could not do yes. in 21. Yes. You're going to do new in 21. Stand to your feet. We're going to open up the altar for prayer. Because, yeah, you're going to get the new oil. And, yeah, we're getting oil tonight. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We're getting consecrated oil tonight. In the name of, we're going to be anointed. In the name of Jesus, keeping that enemy at bay. For all those that you stand to your feet, you go a little further, you can lift up a hand. In the name of Jesus. And those that are watching, thank your Lord God. Let's touch and agree. Father God, as I come right now in the name of Jesus, I come praying for every individual at the sound of my voice, those that are watching, those that are here in the house, that Lord God, we're going to receive our new oil in the name of Jesus. That Lord God, the oil that's going to flow from the crown of our head to the soles of our feet, it's going to be new for 22. Lord God, as I'm praying for every individual, as we're embracing this time, this season, that we're operating in a new time and a new day with a new anointing on our lives, Father God, to do the impossible. In the name of Jesus, I seal it right now. We say amen. 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 Come on, give